and the leaves are slowly beginning to change colors and the air is just really cool and crisp. It's such a nice relief from the summer, even though we didn't really have that hot of a summer here in Illinois, but it still feels really nice to be able to wear like a chunky sweater or my trench coat. But anyways, um, with the summer to fall transition, my skincare and hair care and even my makeup changes along with it. So today I just wanted to share some of those things with you guys. So I guess here we go. So I wanted to talk about makeup, skincare, and hair care today. And I'm going to start with makeup. And these are the products that I think are going to be really hot for this fall. And... Um, brown lipstick is becoming a huge trend and typically I'll wear like plum tones or reds on my lips. Um, my everyday is more of like a pink nude, but if I wanted to spice it up a little bit, I'll lean towards plums and reds. And I had a brown lipstick and um, really, really liked it. I just never really used it that much. And because I would say of Kylie Jenner and her like Instagrams, like she wears a really pretty like brown pink shade of lipstick and I don't even know what it is but um, I just think it looks really great on her so I thought I would try the trend out and I've been really really liking it and today I'm wearing kind of a brownish pinkish toned lipstick and really really love it um, it is by Rimmel London and it is uh, from the Kate line and this is the 104 it doesn't have a name but it is just the most perfect pink brown shade and I'll do like a little swatch for you guys here so you guys can see. But yeah, it is just the prettiest shade. I really, really like it. And I think this is the closest um, that I've gotten to like a Kylie Jenner lipstick shade. The two other brown lipsticks that I have just been absolutely loving. Um, this is the lipstick that I had last year and I didn't really wear too much. But I have been revisiting this quite a bit just because of the brown lipstick trend and I will swatch this as well. But this is by Maybelline and it is called uh, the 235 Warm Me Up. And I'll do a little swatch of this next to um, the 104 by Rimmel. And this has a more, I would say, like purpley undertone and it's a bit more nudey. So as you can see, this is the Rimmel. This is... Um, that Maybelline warm me up and it's more of like a nudie pink shade and last but not least the Revlon color burst lip butters and this is in pink truffle it's a really really pretty shade and I will swatch this next to the warm me up so again this is the Kate 104 this is the Maybelline warm me up and this is the Revlon color burst lip butter in um, pink Truffle, and Pink Truffle is very similar to the Kate 104, but it does have a nice sheen to it, whereas um, the Kate 104 is more of a matte shade. So with the plums and reds, it's difficult to wear those shades every single day. It just looks like you're too made up if you're wearing it in the daytime, but these are great uh, for daytime, these brown toned lipsticks, and I've been really enjoying these lip products. A fall trend that I revisit every single year is metallic eyeshadows, and I think that's because in the summertime I wear very minimal makeup. It's all about being relaxed and, you know, in your bathing suit all the time and not having to worry about putting on makeup or anything. So in the fall, I really like to ramp up my makeup routine because I think it's less about being relaxed and disheveled and more about being put together and looking more polished. So I do um, wear a little bit of eyeshadow and I came across this Julep Neutrals palette and it's the most beautiful neutrals palette and I'm not really one to splurge on something like the Naked palette or anything just because I don't think I would use all the shades. Um, but this one uh, is just so versatile and it's simple enough for me to use. I don't have to think too much about it. Um, but yeah, so the colors that are in here are Tiramisu, Glow, Dusk, toffee and cocoa and dusk is actually quite perfect for these brown lipstick looks it's just um, a nice subtle eye color and it has a little pink to it so it pairs really nicely with the lipstick and I've been using that shade quite a bit um, but I do like to use these more brown tones or more gold golden tones for other 
makeup looks and yeah this is just a great palette if you guys haven't checked it out yet I will link it down below in the info box. So going along with the more polished look for fall I like to pair my eyeshadows with an eyeliner. I always think it looks unfinished when you wear eyeshadow without a liner so um, I like to wear either dark brown or black eyeliner and um, here is one of my favorite liquid eyeliners and I think liquid eyeliner looks a little more sophisticated and it just looks a little sharper so um, that's why I chose this one for this video and uh, this is very inexpensive it's the wet and wild mega liner they also make a waterproof version um, but this is pretty water resistant for not being waterproof I guess and it has a really nice um, tip to it. It's a brush tip. It's actually not a felt tip and I don't think I like felt tips. I think felt tips are um, really difficult to use and they dry out pretty quickly. But this is a really nice brush tip which I feel like I rarely ever see and the color is super pigmented and it goes on really really easily so yeah this is by far my favorite liquid eyeliner. So those are a few makeup products that I think would be really good to have for fall of this year. And I don't want to just talk about makeup, I want to get into some skincare and hair care. And because the weather changes from like hot and humid to cold and dry, I like to um, switch my nighttime moisturizer. And my favorite nighttime moisturizer as of right now is uh, by Vichy. And it's their Aqualia Thermal moisturizer. It has 48 hour hydration which is something you never really need but I like knowing that it hydrates that well and I was introduced to this by Glossy Box. I got it as like a little jar sample um, in one of my Glossy Boxes last fall I believe and I fell in love with it and I was like oh my gosh this is like one of the best facial moisturizers I've ever used in my entire life so um, I obviously had to pick up a new jar for the season and these are relatively inexpensive, I would say, when you compare it to um, other nighttime moisturizers. This is definitely a good bang for your buck. And I just really love the consistency of this, and it really does hydrate. And um, I have kind of sensitive skin, and it works really great uh, for my skin type. So definitely check this out if you're looking for a new like nighttime moisturizer or if your skin is just feeling like super dry and you need some hydration you need to check this out. So along with the moisturizer I like to pair it with a serum and I've been trying out um, the Olay Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Treatment and it is a serum that you can use every day. I actually apply it every morning and every night before my moisturizer and it's supposed to visibly fade the appearance of dark spots and I think um, a serum is super important uh, for your skincare regimen just because it really helps with the hydration factor, really keeps your skin nice and supple. Um, this has the added bonus of uh, fading dark spots and you may have accumulated some or like freckles or something um, just from being out in the sun in the summertime. So I think this is great to include in your skincare regimen and if you guys are looking for a new serum to try definitely give this a go even if you don't have dark spots like I don't have freckles or dark spots but I like to do any preventative care that I can so definitely check this out if you're looking for some type of new serum. Okay so I don't just want to talk about the skin on my face I want to talk about the skin on the rest of my body as well and with the cooler temperatures and the lack of humidity my skin on my body does tend to get pretty dry too. So I like to use a heavy moisturizer in like the fall, winter, sometimes maybe the spring. Um, so my favorite body moisturizer is by True Blue Spa. It is a Bath and Body Works product and this is their Lay It On Thick Super Rich Body Cream and I have the fragrance free version. They also have um, one that's scented and it smells great but I hate when um, body moisturizers clash with like your perfume. Sometimes it goes together but um, I rather just use fragrance free and it, this is like a shea butter product which is super rich, super creamy, super luscious and makes my skin feel so amazing and I um, think this product is really thick so I focus on, focus, um, on my hands and my feet, my knees, my elbows mainly and everywhere else I can get by with just lotion but yeah if you guys haven't tried this yet you need to. I hope they never discontinue this because it's that good of a product. 
So those are the few adjustments that I've made in my skincare routine. I also like to change up my hair care routine a little bit. And I think it's really important to keep your hair moisturized in the fall and winter just because the lack of humidity does dry out your hair strands a little bit. So I like to use like a lot of hair wraps, like olive oil hair wraps and um, avocado hair wraps, just like those home recipes. But when I'm looking for something a little simpler, I turn to my Derm Organic Leave-In Treatment and it's just argan oil. It has grapeseed extract and vitamin E and it has a really nice fragrance to it. Um, I love this company because it's vegan, no animal testing, they don't have parabens, um, no preservatives. It's just a very, I feel like, clean product. But anyways, I like to use this in my hair and a lot of people just uh, straighten their hair and they'll like put some in their hair for like the day, but I don't use it like that. I use it more before I shower. So maybe like a couple hours before I jump in the shower, um, I will coat my hair in that stuff and um, it will be really greasy looking, but it's a great leave-in treatment uh, for that reason because it's super greasy, but it really locks in your cuticles. And um, after I shower, you know, I use my Derm Organic shampoo and conditioner. You can really use any kind of shampoo and conditioner. I've done it before and it works just fine. Um, but yeah, my hair comes out looking so smooth and sleek and it feels so soft the next day. So I just really love this Derm Organic Argan Oil Leave-In Treatment. In the fall, like I had mentioned, I do like the more polished look and I do straighten my hair more often than I would any other um, season. And I really like using the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist and it lasts 48 hours even though I don't think so, but it does work for the day and it just adds a really nice shine because it also has argan oil in it and just keeps my hair um, straight throughout the day. Sometimes when I straighten my hair I can see the ends curling a little bit and this helps a lot so I've been really loving this product. Alright, so those are all of my must-have beauty items for this season, and if you guys have tried any new products that you have been absolutely loving, please share them with me by leaving a comment down below because I would love to try those products too. And if you guys enjoyed this beauty guide or if you would like to see other guides, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are interested in seeing the lipstick shades next to each other, I will have those photos posted on my blog on now and jencom And if you don't already follow me on Twitter, I am at jencu and my Instagram is at nowandjen. I'm going to get back to watching the Bears game now, so I will catch you guys next Sunday. Bye!